welcome back to WWE 2K23, my rise, the sliding Charlotte legacy. It's attack slug once again, that just threw me all off on my intro because it happened again. And it's hilarious every time, but here we are, here we go, in the ring with our manager, the queen, Charlotte Flair, for another episode of this show. It is Cora Jade and it is Dana Brooke is my understanding from playing last week and watching this last week, but not actually having the match because it was time to finish the thing last week. So, bang. All right, Cora Omega, relax yourself. So, run to the ring, do that with your skateboard, and we're going to see what's going to happen here in this tag team contest now, unfortunately, because it's just right into the match. It means I have not changed the moveset yet for moveset Monday. Don't you worry. As soon as I'm backstage again, I'll change the move set for this fine Monday. And it's some tag team business play out win by pinfall or submission. So nice and simple, Peach Pounce. Nice and simple with the Queen at ringside, the 14 time women's champion. And I'm surprised she has not beaten her dad yet in title ranks. Now, technically. If you want to include what Rick has said over the years, it's actually more like 23 and not 16, but 16 officially recognized reigns. But somewhere in the 20s is his actual complete total world title reigns, according to him. And it's Ric Flair, and it's, yeah, I don't know. No one knows, but there is that. Uh, wrestlers exaggerate. That's not news. That's not news. Uh, all right. And what was that? How do you try a drop kick when it's not time for a drop kick? When she's on the ground. Like, you don't do it on the ground. But sure, let's bridge that pin. One. And a Dana Brooke. That's fine. On a fine Monday, we'll do what needs to be done, Cora Jade. Now, if there had been uh, an option for, uh, say, a Princess Zelda instead of Princess Peach that was, you know, worth doing in the community creations, I would have called this the Octorock Lock and not the Octopus. But that is what it is, and it do what it does. Uh, it's unfortunate, but, you know, oh, nice reversal, Cora Jade. But don't you think you're getting away anytime soon. Nah. You can keep on getting up, and you can keep on getting speared, because it's time for the Royal oh, Butterfly... Suplex. And now that you're in the corner, hey, Dana Brooke, I have no stamina left, and that's fine. So get, no, go. What was that? That was not the intention. So if that's going to be the case, then instead, instead, we go for the Oscar lock. I don't have time to get to the stomp. So Oscar lock, locked it in deep. Dana Brooke, still stunned, and we're not going to get there. I mean, we might, if we break it, and there comes Dana Brooke. Well, look. Dana, you're too late. You're too late, Dana Brooke. Referee, you screwed me. One, two. Wow. Okay. With Charlotte in our corner, leading us to victory. Woo! All right, then. That happened. We're a trio. And we're all happy to be here. Let's move on, shall we? Before I talk to Charlotte, let me go change up that moveset. Okay, Charlotte, what's the deal? Congratulations. That was an impressive win. I'm glad I got a front row seat. Thanks. Honestly, I don't know what was going on, but that almost seemed too easy. Perhaps that's just the effect of having me in your corner. Or maybe it's the effect of someone messing with their travel schedules to give them three layovers so they showed up late and exhausted. You messed with their travel? Wow, you're a quick one. If you want a chance to reclaim your championships, you need to make a strong showing in the ring. I haven't been? You didn't think to loop me on that, Charlotte? We want them back fairly. Seriously? Why did you do that? Charlotte, Ava and I want our titles back, but if we don't win them fair and square, it won't count as much. Relax. This kind of thing happens all the time. You don't need to worry yourself with it. Just focus on winning. See? This is why you need me in your corner. Sure. It's also why I worried about having you in my corner. You make everything way too complicated. Okay, fine, my bad. 
If you don't want me using sneaky tactics and want to get your wins the boring way, I can respect that. So we're on the same page now? Absolutely. Spoiler, we're totally not. Never trust a flare, continue story. Are you sure this is a good idea? Honestly, no. We had a good talk and we're, and we're starting to understand how we can work together. I still don't trust her, but I've been wrong before. You definitely have. Good luck against Mela tomorrow night. Boy, another Carmella match, hooray. Carmella looks primed for this matchup. Wait, what the hell? She's being taken out by Charlotte Flair. She's absolutely wailing on her. Someone needs to stop this. Get some help out here. How are they letting this continue? Fine. Been it's about in there. time. Thankfully, oh, Charlotte's Holly. being restrained. Give me double. Shockingly, it seems as if this match will go on as planned. Well, well, well. Carmella with some head damage. I thought maybe that cutscene would have saved my hand the match entirely, but no. Unfortunately not. So, once again, it is a princess versus princess. But this time, it's a moveset Monday. How did that miss? How did that miss into her taunt? How does that make sense? But okay, now she's just mad about it, and I could not get back in the ring. So that's on me. That's all right. We'll manage. I have an advantage. It's fine. I could get counted out here, but it's win by pinfall or submission, and Carmella is rightfully a bit upset about the whole situation. I would be too. But in the meanwhile, oh, good God. I can't even get one move in besides that clothesline to start. Everything since that springboard has gone terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. Abdominal stretch. No thank you. I don't think so. I wanted to show off a new running move, and apparently that was not what I'm allowed to do. Spear. I kept the spear, because this, this spear is hilarious. Now then, Mela. Now then, Mela. Gory neck breaker. Deal with that. That's right. Whose house? Peach's house here on SmackDown. We run things on this broadcast. That's right. Fujiwara. Salt of the earth, if you will. Mela, you going down. No, grapple. I hit grapple. I hit the grapple button. Here we go. O'Connor roll into the Pele kick on the back of the neck. It's good. To Don't go nowhere, Mela. Don't go nowhere. Uh, you were not excused. Class is still in session. And here we are. And here we go. Triangle? No. Drop down? No. Leapfrog? Stamina? Drop to hold. All that for a... Okay, yes. That's a mellow thing. I get it. I do. The moonwalking, trash talking. I do. How about a hip toss? How about that? Miss Mella is money. How about you're a noggy? Way up high. And then the moonsault, which I missed. I'm having terrible, terrible springboard luck on this episode. Just... Okay, atomic drop is fine, but no. That's not even a one count, Miss Mella. Not even hardly a one count, because this is way more even than it should be. Because I keep screwing up, I guess. I don't know. Oh, all right, all right. The slap. The slap. Slap happy is Mella. And I'm not wasting when I'm almost at my SIG, which should lead to finish and should put her away if I don't get myself Count it out as she's just done with it. Like, I don't blame her at this point. At a certain point, the rage takes over. And how about a SIG on the outside? Boom! It's Suplex City, Carmella. That's what you asked for. That's what you get. So, now, get back in the ring. Back into the ring. That's right. Halfway across the ring, it's peach stomping time, mushroom stomping time, uh, don't you move. Direct target, a one, a two, a three. Charlotte, we had this conversation. Did you hear nothing I said, but also, is that your banana? Can I have that? Anyhow, what's up? Nice win. Sorry I couldn't be out there to see it, but security wouldn't let me come back in the arena. That's a whole plate of cookies over there. Mm. What the hell was that, Charlotte? I thought we talked about this. Talked about what? You attacked Carmella after you promised me you weren't going to do anything underhanded. I promised you I wouldn't do anything sneaky. I didn't. 
I attacked Carmella out in the open in front of the whole WWE universe. No loopholes. You've now tainted two victories that I didn't need your help with. Stop. Tainted? Come on. This is how the game is played. This is what it takes to succeed. Are you really that naive? That would explain why even your aunt didn't want to manage you. Why do you assume it was her choice? It's no wonder your groups never work out. It's my fault for giving you the benefit of the doubt. I should have known that you'd ruin any chance to legitimately team up. And it's my fault for overestimating you in the first place. For all your goody two-shoes talk, I'm not sure you could have won those matches without my assistance. How many times have I beaten Carmella on this very show, I would have been fine. So let's cut to the chase. We can go back and forth blaming each other all day, or we can get in the ring. Honestly, we should have just fought each other when you first showed up to SmackDown. That was always where this was heading. Would have saved us the trouble of this charade of a partnership. If you think you can beat me, then you're even more naive than I thought. I guess there's only one way to find out. How quickly affections turn sour. Peach and Charlotte next week on SmackDown. Because we all know how the saying goes, we fight on Friday nights. So, skip my intro. Give me that Charlotte Flair intro and we'll take things from there. But, should have known better. Like, anytime it's Charlotte Flair, you should have known better. It's a flair. It's what they do. So, do not trust the flair. Very simple. With a tear in my eye! Okay, Charlotte Flair get to the ring and we'll see, will I have a objective or will the match go? All right, normally, kick to the face, kick to the face, try and stop me, kick to the face, close line. Ah, oh, that's good, that's good. And that's Santon. All right, yes, clear out there, Cole and Graves and Saxton, get out, chill. All right, into the ring. And Charlotte, this will be a one-sided affair, if I could possibly help it. Spear! And let's see what else here we have on a fine move set Monday. I have already forgotten. I chose them, and then I just totally forgot. And that one got reversed, so you ain't gonna see it. It ain't gonna happen. Off to the ropes, and drop down, and leapfrog, and a botch. Botchosaurus. Okay, that's fine. Now, as I was trying to do, and trying to say, and trying to accomplish... The Impaler DDT, fangin' and bangin'. All right, otherwise, a neck breaker. No, I'm sorry. Clubbing the forearm to the back of the head. And, oh, okay, okay, right back up. Right back up. Here we are. Gory neck breaker. As we head towards Signature, maybe Charlotte fighting back, as she does. Oh, the slaps. The absolute disrespect from the Queen. That's what she does. That's her specialty. Oh, into the corner with the forearm, and I'm not wasting recovery. And she's shocked by that. You shouldn't be shocked by that, Charlotte. It's been a pretty one-sided affair so far. And it will continue to be a pretty one-sided affair here, Charlotte Flair, because it's time to put you away in record time. I did it to Becky, and I'll do it to you. But also, I can't get over there. So, this is too far from over here. This is not going to reach. This is not going to reach. So, we're not going to bother. That's unfortunate. That almost got there. But, I don't think my finisher would have. And I can't. It won't let me. That's a problem. Okay, she's getting up. She's going to move. All right? You took too long. You took too long. That was very predictable. But I had to try anyway. Because, hey. Match drama, right? Match drama. Oh, no! Tree of woe! In the tree of woe. Nah. That ain't happening. Charlotte, that ain't... Really? Okay. Okay. What? Dragon sleeper from Charlotte. That's my move. Come on now. That's my beardness. Don't you get into my beardness. Charlotte Flair. Run! Use the run button. It's not working. I got no stamina. Kick. And drop kick. And you know what? Since we're already here, and she's already in the red, why not do the octopus? Why not 
Do the eye. She dodged it once. She dodged it once. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Let it go. I tried. I tried, Charlotte. Jawbreaker. Nope. Drop kick. We're almost there again. So why not say respect the princess? You're the queen, but we are both royalty of our respective kingdoms. Exploder suplex. Sure. She has finished right now. So I do not want a figure eight, Charlotte. No. No. No figure eight. Haha. -ha. Gotcha. Gotcha. And she blocked the royal suplex. All right, look. Sidewalk slam on that. And now I am all out of, yeah. I'm all out of meter, but I do have a finisher. And she has Sig. I, she's doing the, the, yep, the strut. The flare strut. Oh, well, it's not actually the flare strut. It's the Fargo strut. But, you know. Wrestlers steal. That's what they do. Okay. Charlotte, you know. Deal with that. Deal. Go to the corner. Really? Really? Jump! Can I get off? This is too far. But I'm trying anyway. Can it happen? Can it happen? From the heavens! I got there. Somehow, someway, I got there. And a one, and a two, and I didn't beat Charlotte Flair. Because it's Charlotte freaking Flair. <sighs> Alright, yes. What? She snuck me on that one. She snuck me on that one. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Take one of these on your knees. Okay. Deal with that. Because holy... She is just getting me s totally suckered in here on all this. On all this. Okay, oh, big show. It's okay, sure. Whatever. Nah. Not even close, Charlotte. Not even close. What is happening? No natural selection for me, please. Again, back into the dragon sleeper. Not. Oh, don't you, don't you dare. Don't you dare. No, thank you. I thought it'd be easy win here against Charlotte, and it's not at all. I should have known better on that. Grapple her. Down. We'll pin on the neck breaker. The gory neck breaker. Here we go. A one, a two, a three. I'll take it. Princess beats Queen. That's your headline. What do you think about that Ava? Way to take Charlotte out. The way you dominated, I'd almost think you messed with her flight schedule before the match. Was it you? Very funny. Nope. Fair and square. Is this going to turn into an I told you so conversation? No. I'm going to wait to bring that up whenever I inevitably have a lapse in judgment and need a get out of jail free card. You know, I still can't figure out why Charlotte approached me in the first place. What was she hoping to get out of this? You want to know what I really think? Sure. I think maybe she really wanted to work with you. Because I'm Justine's niece and she wanted to take advantage of that clout? No, because you're you and she wanted to take advantage of that clout, LJ. You're really becoming someone around here. I know you've spent a lot of time worrying about being in your aunt's shadow, but now, don't let that worry stop you from seeing your own light. Wow, that was really nice, Ava. Momentary lapse in judgment. You know. Like when you decided to trust Charlotte Flair. Burn. And that wraps up today. We'll deal with more Charlotte Flair, I guess, tomorrow, next time. I'm Attack's Love. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you then. And I'm out.